What's up, boys? Today we're gonna be talking about Palantir. Palantir's up five percent today. Big Money has been buying it up. Finally, looking like we're probably going to see a move back up to twenty bucks. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna talk about how specifically I would trade this, uh, as well as a couple of other things. So hit the like button, subscribe, check out the Discord community down below. It is completely free. The link is in the description. You guys get access to free courses, live streams, seminars, webinars, free trades. Uh, Angels chat room today alone absolutely freaking killed it. And I called out a Shopify um, trade that was completely free a couple of days ago. I made seventeen hundred bucks on if you close it out today so go check it out if you do want access to all my trades you guys can upgrade for 25 bucks a month today alone i closed out five thousand dollars in profits link to everything is in the description now take a look at palantir obviously gotten the shit beaten out of it for the past basically year finally bottomed from what it seems down here at about ten dollars which if you watch the channel we've been talking about this for a very very long time that ten dollar support which is why i sold when it was trading up around 22 so far at this point, we have bounced janky inverted head and shoulder resistance neckline of 15 bucks. And at this moment, looking like we could break out, saw some unusual options activity today, some 4, 8, 14, 50 calls that came through. And actually, if you take a look at the specific position today for Palantir, big money is actually up 25%, which is not that much. So I think they're expecting this thing to continue to run going on into the week. I would not follow these calls personally. If I really was going to get into a position, I'd probably get like two weeks out at the money, but still looking at this, what I'm really looking for is like the next three weeks because we have this neckline resistance here. Good volume coming in today. You can see the volume was significantly higher, about double than what it was Thursday, Friday. RSI pointing up still has about 20 points, maybe 10 points to run before we're overpriced. And it's looking like with how thin the volume is over on this volume profile, which you guys know we talk about a lot here on this channel, it's looking like it's pretty easy for this thing to pop back up to $17.50, at least $18, which is a 26 percent return so looking at this thing looking pretty solid if we go through and let's say that you entered earlier today we'll also do it from if you were to enter tomorrow but let's just say you went from an entry around 14 dollars and you were to take a profit at 18 could could say 20 but 18 is where that thick area of volume is that's where i'm looking at and then you were to go set a stop loss below the 22 ema significantly below the 22 ema you're looking at rvr three which means you're risking 30 or you're risking nine percent to make 31 percent that's solid as hell that's what i usually look for and if you enter here and you were to set a stop loss down at like 1250 that's a two versus one rvr so realistically here i would be waiting to see if we reject and pull back down to like 14 13 90 range and trying to enter there but i do think in the next couple of weeks probably by mid to end uh april we're going to end up seeing this push up to 18 bucks and then we have earnings on may 10th which could potentially get us back up to 24 or you know just derail us back down to ten dollar price point uh, which is something definitely to worry about something else i want to go over is spce have not talked about this in a very long time, but looking at this here, nice little one hour bull flag. Big money has been buying pretty strong for the past couple of days. I think probably within the next couple of days, we're going to see this thing break back up and make a run for 11 slash 1150, which from this point here is about a 7% return. The other thing to keep an eye on is going to be Neo, which I made a video on Friday and I'll do an update video, but another great day up 9% and Neo is looking like it's probably going to run up to 2750. So there's a lot of good deals out there with small caps and looking at the Russell 2000 as well, um, you know, which we don't talk a lot about here. Big resistance at 210, but I think if we push through here, we can easily see this run up to 218. So overall, guys, thanks for all the support. I'll continue to keep you guys updated. Thank you for supporting all the channels, both channels, and actually the third one that's coming out soon. So thanks for all the support, guys. Enjoy your day. Peace.